Mitsumoto Sakari, these suck. I had the highest hopes for these poultry shears. Like I used them the first time. Oh my God, they were working good. Gave them a wash and then bam, the rust started to appear. So there's one little speck of rust. And that's after about 10 minutes of scrubbing with a good scouring pad and some Ajax and all that. And the rust just will not come out. So... I'm sorry if you're watching this video and you're thinking about buying these, don't just save your money. I mean, they were 30 bucks, so I figured, okay, you know, it's going to be a good value. It's going to be a good price. The box was nice. Like you get this dense foam padded thing. They were ergonomic. Like they do fit in your hand pretty good. They are spring loaded, right? And this lever you push forward. That's what gets them to lock and then you you basically press together, pull back on this lever, and then they open up again. The spring must be internal, I'm guessing, somewhere in there, which kind of scared me too because you can't take them apart to clean them. Like, you'd really have to go in there and do the thing. I think um, overall length, by the way, was around 10 inches. This, this blade was around 4 inches. This smaller piece was 2 inches. This is all cutting surface here to get your like bones in there if you want to cut the bones. But I think what really like dawned on me now that I'm thinking about it is when you look at the box, right? It doesn't specifically say made in Japan, which kind of gets me like, I believe this company is a Japanese company that is operating in Japan. But see, it says uncover the label to check authenticity, right? And then down here, it does say Yokohama City, Japan. But I don't think these are made in Japan. Like I, I did a lot of research, unless these are knockoffs, but I did a lot of research and I found out that I think it's a Japanese company that's operating in China or so they say, quote unquote. So sorry for being stainless steel after just one use. These should not rust. Right? Am I right? Like, am I, you know, crazy for thinking that I can return these now because they rusted? So that's another thing going back to Amazon. Anyways, hopefully this video will help some of you out there that were thinking about buying these. My final conclusion is uh, do not buy the Mitsumoto Sakari shears, poultry shears, whatever they want to call these things. That's what the logo looks like. That's what the box looks like. They are yet again another piece of Amazon crap. So there you go. Anyways, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you like what you're seeing. And I'll catch you all in the next exciting video.